Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Flicks on the Ink Tank. Today, we're finally gonna watch them give the Anor Aliens ultimate forms. The Anor Aliens being like Blitz, Wolf, or Snedo, Frankenstrike, you know, Wampile. Let's hop in and see just what these monsters become. <laughs> Good evening, ghost scribblings uh, and ghoulies. This is O.R. Ash, and welcome <laughs> back to the Drawing Matrix. Always glad Happy to be Halloween, back. everybody. We are back once again to continue our Ultimate Overhauled series. Mm -hmm. Last time, we started covering the original series' playlist add-ons, and this time around, oh, yeah. we are continuing with some of the spookiest species Ben 10 has to offer. I am, of course, referring to the Halloween Trio. It is oh, the season, yeah. after all. These aliens being tossed Wait, into the fray, starting with three? the arcing plot of season three. Hmm. Okay, I was correct with season three. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> yes, season three. These <laughs> aliens being tossed into the fray, starting in the arcing plot of season three, started to change how I was thinking about mm. the show's creature design a lot. Plus, Halloween being my favorite I mean, holiday kind of also made me fall in love with the then. show even more as a kid. But before we get started, I did want to say I see a lot of people in the comments of these videos constantly asking if I'll cover certain aliens. I. Or Ash and making ultimate forms Ooh. slash ultimate redesigns for every transformation Ben has canonically become in the show as of the end of Omniverse. Oh, Some yes. particular aliens may now be shifted around be just good. a little bit, such as what I'm doing with today's video. Today I will be covering not only Ooh, Ben. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do for Alien X. Now that is gonna be awesome. Ben Wolf, Snarrow, and Frankenstrike, but also the vamp made in vain. Vampire. Yes, now, I knew it. Let us begin. The vamp king himself. <laughs> Do you smell that? What? My wolf breath's not that bad. <laughs> Starting off with Blitz Wolf. Wolf. The clasp of the clouds. You hear the baying and barking of the biped banshee, Ben Wolf. I call him Ben Wolf because I reject the name Blitz Wolfer. It's a I dumb name like it. made from a dumb joke. He's based on a werewolf and has the powers of, well, a werewolf. You know, aside from his howls being able to shatter stone. Yeah, to start yeah. off, I leaned a it's bit more into echo the echo. original series design, mainly because his hair was made of, like, these chunky tendrils, and I really hmm. dig that style. But secondly, because yeah, I wanted to turn heavy. each of those tendrils into a mouth. Bulky. Ben Wolf's signature oh. ability is his sonic howl, like and it. I wanted to give him the ability to do said howling in various directions all at the same time. But I didn't want to go with the obvious, Level. like, Cerberus multiple heads route, so what I did is more like a Cerberus mixed with I don't know, Medusa? Looking more into the and werewolf tropes, I thought it would be cool to add silver bullets into his new power set. Famously, they're known to kill werewolves, but I thought if Ultimate mm -hmm. Humungo can shoot rockets from his frickin' hands, then Ben Wolf can have it's a gun of some kind. Bone so with that, I decided to give him metal bones. Not to get into the adding metal to Ultimate's gimmick, but I thought his hmm. teeth could be made of metal, and when he howls, he can detach and launch them like little projectiles, and then reload Sounds by painful. regenerating more teeth. Hence, an equivalent to silver bullets. Kind of. Sounds Just painful. like regenerating his teeth, he would be able to extend these blade-like digits to use for some paw-to-paw -paw slashing combat. <laughs> I'm just now That's realizing awesome. as I type the script for this video, these new, like, metal powers actually make him very similar to Bashmouth. <laughs> well... Son of a so to recap, huh. his new abilities include a multi-mouth hide for howling in various directions, and metallic bones for firing teeth-like bullets and slashing combat. As far as his trade-offs, oh, like I would say his metal bones now. mean he's a bit heavier and a bit slower than the original form. So, other than that, may I present my take on an ultimate Ben Wolf I dub, Medusa. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I like it. That's actually really good. We're back. Mummy are great. <laughs> As the winds are stirring the sky, you see the swirling slings of the slinking sovereign, Snarrow. 
Snero was actually the hmm. first thing designed for this video, but I wanted to present them in playlist order, so now oh, yeah, it it's mummy sense. time. I drew him first because he was my most solidified idea. The actual body of the mummy is just its head, and that oh, it yeah. produces these wraps to use as like a suit to prop itself up on. And he can take a lot of damage to his bandages I mean, without reacting almost yeah. all. I wanted to extend its actual <laughs> body into being a half torso instead of just a head. This torso I designed with elements of both scarab beetles and the classic pharaoh looks to stay on theme with classic. the mummy. This main body would have a hard shell with spiky digits for arms and legs. <laughs> Little beetle boy. That's right, I'm giving an ultimate legs this time. I have enough stashed away so I can spare some. Oh but these God, legs weren't made that. for walking, so that's not what they're gonna do. One of these days, that these legs hilarious. are gonna make tornadoes made out of poo sand. Sand and debris it kicks up into the air in a circling motion. He uses these legs to kick up sandy cyclones and then tosses in a hmm. few of his prehensile bandages to control them remotely. Funnily enough, about Makes a week sense. ago in our Discord server, fits, a few really. days after I had made this ultimate, was asking if Snero should have a tornado creation ability because the Thep Kufan in the Protector of Earth video game did. Now, I didn't know oh. that was a thing, but for the rest of him, I decided to just kind of loosely bad. drape his bandages off of his shoulders to imply they would swirl around him and just add to the kind of like UFO shaped silhouette that I was giving him. Like his body is meant to be the the main saucer and the tornado is like the little tractor beam. I don't know. I just, I, I thought totally that was a fun that. shape. That anyway, to recap, for his new abilities, he has a new hard durable shell for defense. He can generate Good. tornadoes and control them remotely with bandages. Nice. As far as his trade-offs, he can no longer separate his body into wraps. He now has a full solid like main body mm. he he can't separate it anymore and because of this yeah, he can no longer sense. maneuver in like small spaces he's a pretty big boy now other than that may i present my Wait, take on an ultimate scenario counsel? that i dub sand trap nice very elegant electromagnetic body sweet ah Rankin strike. Stay of the night, blinding the sky with the striking lightning from the fastened foil of the frightening fiend, Frankenstrike. Hold on, folks. Sorry about that. Here we have my favorite of the inner system species, Frankenstrike. Frankenstrike has been my favorite Halloween zip, zip. alien since I was a kid. Mainly because I just love Frankenstein aesthetic characters. Just something about yeah, stitches I mean, and asymmetry well. just pleases me. Yes. Now, with this ultimate, I had two different ideas. One, to give him a power specifically to combat predatory Vladats, and hmm. two, to just make him a huge electrocharged Hulk. I really struggled to flesh Wait, out solid that, uh, concept sketches for either them? of them, so I figured I'd just stitch them together and see how it goes. Having asymmetrical anatomy plays into the aesthetic anyway, so. So, with this daunting I mean, yeah. dude on his left side, he uses increased amplitude to charge up his muscles into a hulkingly strong state as well as fire nice. off shock waves of power when he strikes. And on his right side, he uses a series hmm. of electroconductive bolts stuck into his arm. He can dispense these bolts and use them to latch onto enemies, temporarily controlling their motor functions, or, <laughs> with his new nice. non-retconned hyperintelligence, build up a construct of surrounding materials and form them into a golem that he can bring oh. to life with now lightning. that is a good oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Hold on golem parade. This golem would only last till Ben turns back to Ben. As far as his colors, yeah, I went with sense. purple because I loved the purple lightning aesthetic from the original series, and it always upset a me a bit that any type of energy Ben uses in alien form, in most alien forms, at a certain point in the show, they're just all green. The purple huh. lightning was cool. Besides, if that's the, if all it? of the Why energy is going to be green, green, technically shouldn't heat blasts fire be green? It's energy, kind of. Anyway, to <laughs> recap, as uh, far as new abilities, Maybe. he can overcharge <laughs> his muscle fibers, and due to this he now is a pretty big boy standing at about 12 feet tall. He counsel? also has controlled charge bolts he can use to control people or make golems with, and again, I, I am mean, I giving him hyper intelligence. As far as trade-offs, because of his size, 
He is a big old boy. He is very slow now. He's very slow and heavy because he's a big chunky man. He also loses it. his twin Tesla coils from his shoulders and trades them out for a singular Tesla coil on his elbow. He also loses his hair. Other than that, may I present hmm. my take on an oh, no. ultimate Frankenstrike that I dub <laughs> Mortal Coil. Ultimate Frankenstrike! Clever concept and love it. We're back from the break. What do you know? Ordering henchmen around is kind of fun. <laughs> Shadows dance wayward in the pale moonlight as you hear the weird whispers of the wicked wanderer. Vampire. Kind of hate that name. Now, on to the alien that I have been dreading this entire video. My dreading. unenthusiastic tone aside, I know there are a few people out there that love this He's blowout not bad. bat, but the general consensus is that this dude is lame. Like, I appreciate that they wanted to add on to the inner legacy I mean, with it another is a classic little monster, weak, but like, but they just made him your garden variety overpowered character and gave him a goofy gimmick. I understand what they were going for, and heck, I even think it was executed kind of okay with Lord Transel's character. But Vampire is just a bleh 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 vampire. <laughs> Doesn't give the same vibe as the other four inner system okay, species. I guess maybe Regardless, is a little I made gimmicky. an ultimate, and with it, I wanted to try to salvage the vampire ness but go in a different direction. First off, we're getting rid of his eyes. My eyes! Their planet is described to be dark okay. and they avoid light at all costs. So I thought through evolving the thermal infrared vision that the base form has, it would become so advanced that they wouldn't really need regular vision. They only got eyes for their hmm. snacks. They only need what that the vision. Hell? This ultimate has these gill-like gland things on its head and various spots on its upper secondary hmm. set of wings attached to the cowl of its neck. So it can see okay, in a full bad. 360 degree. To play up the bat aspect a lot more in his design, I extended his underarm wings and made them full-fledged wings with clawed Ooh. talons at the end. I also added talons like to his feet bat. so that he can still grab things while he's flying despite not having like real arms anymore. For his <laughs> overall design, yeah, I wanted sense. it to be like kind of sleek and mysterious, you know, like most vampires or predatory species. So his double set of wings can fold down into a cloak and his face can actually unwrap itself, revealing That's his terrifying. mouth like the predator, the alien predator. To help with his sneaky stalkeriness, I reversed his sonic explosion power and turned it into a sound wave absorption. He can absorb Ooh. any sound within a certain radius of himself so that prey can't hear him approaching and others can't hear prey caught in his grips. So I also changed his corruptors so that they him. now act like little minions and can grab stuff for him as well as attack and explode at will, you know, just for fun. Hmm, anyway, to recap, bad. as far as new abilities, he has sound wave absorption for stealthiness. He now has drone-like corruptoras that can act on their own and explode, as well hmm. as advanced sensory glands that can pick up infrared and thermal vision. Also, I'm giving him an ability called Skin Veil, which just gives him a general immunity skin to the veil. sun. As far as his trade-offs, oh. this dude is losing his oh, arms yeah. so that okay. he can get more powerful wings, he is <laughs> losing like his eyes in place of powerful oils. sensory glands, and he's losing his sonic explosions show. in replacement of the sound wave absorption. Other than that, may I present my take on an ultimate vampire that I dub Crypt Creeper. Ultimate vampire. Perfectly horrifying. Love Light it. Light descends tonight. As the dark surrounds you, you oh, feel a the second vampire. Nice. Of wrath. Vampire. Okay, so I know I was just dogging on Vampire with the last one, but you I had more than one idea for him, so round two. Now, for this ultimate, as much as I hate it, mm. I decided to lean into the overpowered angle of Vampire. So no living thing is able to approach the Vladat's planet, Ener Vladius, because there's some kind of weird force that just instantly kills anything that gets near it. So I <laughs> thought I could have Damn. some edgy fun and give this ultimate the Talk literal power not any company. of death. <laughs> His body generates this, let's just call it dead energy, and he's able to manipulate it in a few ways. The first is the evolution solution to its sunlight problem. He can create a straight up veil of darkness around himself so that the sun can't like touch it. it. This also lends well to being a creepy force to be reckoned with, because all you would see until he gets close to you is a giant 
ball of shadows. Secondly, Ooh, he I'd can want shape the, the dead energy glow. into constructs capable of absorbing life energy at a distance. Basically, think Not like a bad. Michael Morningstar type of situation. You touch the energy, you become a Slurpee to someone. To make him even more <laughs> formidable, totally. I comboed his sonic explosion and hypnosis abilities into something that I call the Dark Whispers. It's essentially just dark advanced whisper. hypnotism mm. that can be done through just sound instead of having to look into his gaze. He beckons all into the dark, right into his crypts. So, to I recap, like his idea. new abilities include a dead energy generation and manipulation that he can use in the form of creating a veil of darkness mm. to protect him from the sun, as well as create constructs that can absorb life energy at a distance. And I again, like it. giving him his new power, Dark Whispers, which is just advanced sound-based hypnosis with Advanced a pretty far hypnosis. range. As far as trade-offs, he loses the sonic explosions in turn for the advanced hypnosis, and he loses the corruptoras. I know people are going to yeah, be upset by that, but he can already hypnotize people at a distance. Other than so, that, yeah, may really I present another Taurus. take on an ultimate vampire that I dub Plague Bat. Ooh, nice name. Ultimate vampire. Okay, now hold on. Before we move on, take a look at this. The wings look like they're constantly filled with some energy. Oh, maybe that's like how you can tell how powerful an ultimate vampire is. Like maybe the brighter these are, the more energy is stored within the vampire, giving them the strength. And the darker, well, vice versa. Darker, less powerful. That is a pretty good concept. They probably weren't thinking of that. But hey, I was. <laughs> And sadly, that rounds out our ultimates for the inner system. Since you already there did are Ghost only four canon all. species, and I've already covered Ghost Freak in a previous video, check out the playlist below. But Love it. I want to finish all of the canon species before moving on to 5YL ones, so that's going to do it for this one. Other than that, I'm OR Ash, and I'm surviving. Not so fast, oh, Asher! The... Is the scare? Why the hell are you the here? You're really ending the freaky festivities so early. Well, there's no more canon oh, no. aliens from Ener. I have to work on and beyond. Oh, sea devils can wait. You've got one more haunting overhaul to do. No, wait, the scare. No, <laughs> what? What are you? The scale wants a new oh, a ultimate. A new ultimate. I am at my full potential. Bones pop and crack. Splinter oh, this is gonna be good. Gaze into the zany zareth of the zealot zeitgeist. This scare. So, I guess you could think about it like this. The previous ultimate we got would be for, like, contained Zeskel, which is pretty much base Ghost Freak that we all know. And this would be the one, this would be, like, the ultimate for when he's broken out, when he's released. At his full power, yada yada yada. I know I've already done Ghost Freak, but I usually do five species per video, and Ectonorites are the only other canon species to an Ur. Plus, I I wanted to draw another spooky alien. That being Why said, powers-wise, I'm not really gonna justify them with normal jargon explaining. This time around, we're just doing general descriptions, because I want this dude to be crazy, and he's a very late addition to this episode, so I'm just <laughs> kinda having fun with it. Firstly, All right, he can shapeshift. He can go as small as his base form, which is about six foot, but then he can grow to be as big as the size Holy of a building. Hell. Secondly, wherever he goes, it is nighttime. If it is daytime, and he shows up out of nowhere like boo, it's night now. That's how he overcomes his sun allergy. He's that is able incredible. to literally just turn it into night. Thirdly, he can create hallucinations from his giant shadowy cloak thing and I mean, use them to attack and fits. terrorize people. These shadowy hallucinations can induce insanity in people if exposed for too long. And the scare then feeds on said insanity because. Yeah! Oh! Was not expecting to that. Call the scare. Thank you guys so and much for watching. Awesome. Sorry about Zeke, you won't see him again for a little while. Anyway, did you <laughs> enjoy the monstrous ultimates I cooked up today? Let me know in the comments down below. We've also just opened up our Patreon Instagram to the public, so follow oh, us down there cool. for old and new updates alike, including the first look at the Albedo versions of these ultimates. Hmm, Make sure you check out bad. our merch store too for a ton of new designs over there, <laughs> including one related to legs. this episode. <laughs> also, make sure to check out all of our links in the description. We've got our Patreon, Twitch channel, and our comic 5YL. As always, I am Oer Ash, and I'm surviving. Will you? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I have to say, everyone, that this was an amazing episode from the Ink Tank. And so, I want you all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video, so remember to support the original creator and all they do. And I'll see all of you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.